Hey guys, welcome back. How are you? I hope you are good and doing well. So in the last lecture, we added the search form to search the jobs, whether it is the remote or whether it is the on-site jobs or whether it is from any company or we allowed to search by the job title as well. Okay. Now in this lecture, we will work on the enhancement of the search. Okay. For example, here you can see that right now uh, in the search form here, you can see that we are using this single attribute for title or job type or company name contains. Okay. So let's say how we can enhance this uh, job search. Okay. For example, let's say user is not aware about like what are the titles of the job. So we can let them uh, to search through an input box where they can provide some title if and if the title is matching any of the jobs in the system, they can uh, uh, find that job or sy our system will return that job to them okay but what if uh, we have to provide different search inputs like uh, we can say that you can find the jobs from the full uh, other filters as well for example let's say job type job location job status but job status we will not use for the public we can we will use this for the uh, let's say company users not for the public users or job seekers okay so how we can do that so here in this lecture what we will do that we will create multiple filter fields into our search form okay so here first what we will do that we will remove it from here so for example you can see like that company con okay and here we can add search via title okay so we can do that and we need to change our form as well here okay for example let's say what we need to do here that we can do something like that let's say div class sorry div class form group and then row and here now we can add our search fields here okay so for example let's say give class a call lg6 and we can use this here as well and here we can provide this so now what we need to do paste this field here and change the class form control lg and here we will remove this okay and then we can add here like uh, just search via company name company name and then here company name contains okay and then we can use similar fields for the job location and job type as well for example let's say we can use select okay and here what we will use uh, let's say job type and here you, we will use eq measure that is like job equals to okay and here we will provide the select box so that options for select okay and here what we can use job models job type okay then you can use it here and then let's say form select and then form select lg okay and rather than place a holder here what you need to use you need to use prompt here and then search job by type okay and make a comma here okay and in the other input box what we can do we can use the select type for job location okay so what we will use here let's say job location so job location eq 
okay job location eq and then job dot job location location okay and then save it and here we need to remove that and instead of what we will do that we will use two links here okay and that links are for reset the search and submit the search okay but for example right now just go to the browser and see if we can see all these attributes on the here so you can see we can see job by title and search job by type okay so here you can see contract full time part time internship and search job by location so either it is remote or on site or you can search the job by company name itself as well okay now let's make some spacing here so what we can do mb4 let's make it everywhere okay, mb4 save it and see that if there is any okay so now we have enough spacing here okay and then we need to add two buttons at the bottom okay so just copy this div okay and here what we need to do that uh, first link to link to reset search okay and then request dot referer okay class btn btn secondary okay and the other link will be not link it should be the submit button so form dot submit and here search okay save it and make it the primary first as well save it and now refresh the browser so the twitter okay so we are able to see the button reset search and uh, search okay so if i click on the reset search you can see that i am on the jobs index page now let me try to find the jobs which are, has the job type as contact okay so now if i submit on the search you can see i can only see where the jobs are the contract type okay and let's say if i have any job for example let's say remote or on site so when i click on the remote what it will do that first it will find whether the job type is contract or not and then it will see that whether the job is remote or not okay so let's search okay and you will see different results okay and now if you change the contract type or job type and the keep the remote as the job location and you if you click on the search you will see different results okay and if you make it internship and you click on the search you will again see different results okay so this is how this search will work and this is this provides a better user experience why because uh, user wants to search the jobs by different things okay now let's try to search it by company so what we can do here here you can see this is the company name so we will use it green hold okay green hold and when you click on the search you will see no jobs at the moment why because if you go to the browser uh, back to the browser and you can see that we are using green hold and the job type is or sorry the job location is remote and the contract job type is contract but we do not have any such job at this company with these two attributes matching okay so what we can do that uh, let's say change this to remote make the remote uh, sorry reset the search and what we can do here green hold and now if you click on the search okay it is still not showing any result so what is the result here okay because it we did not uh, uh, set the url so let first uh, reset the search here okay okay let me add some prompt there as well why the prompt is not working in the form so we need to see that search job by location okay and if you refresh the page okay now let's search for the green hold okay and click on the search button you will see that the companies contains the green hold is showing the search result okay so make sure that your url is valid okay 
and it should work okay now if you change again the let's say full time let's see whether it is showing the full time just for the uh, that search or not okay so you can see it is showing the full time okay but now we need to make that selection constant it is this is not showing the constant selection here why because in the url you can see you selected full time but it is showing the contact okay so what we can do that we can add the selected value to the form whether what is selected okay so let's make it uh, for example let's say selected okay but first let's check what we are getting in the url okay so the queue is params queue and then job type eq okay so we need to make it selected params queue and then job type eq sorry job location it is job location eq okay and then do the same thing for job type eq as well copy this and here after job type what you can do paste it and here job type eq save it and now refresh the page okay so you will see the selected full time look here okay and if you select it made it the let's say part time and you make your search you will see the part time is selected and this is the part time in the url okay and same thing you can do for the uh, job as well let's say click on the remote and make your search you will see no result okay and if you go to the browser you will see let's say on site and click on the search so you will see that on site is being selected here okay so this is how you can create more better filters using rensec okay now one improvement we can do here which is like you can see that the search from a uh, search form is this kind of has this kind of width and these are these are the jobs so we can either reduce the size of the search box or we can either increase the width of this job card okay so let's increase the width of the job card okay so the job card is now at call lg at mx auto so what we can do here we can simply remove this call lg8 and we can just make it call lg12 and remove this mx auto save it and go to the browser refresh the page so now you will see the better consistent uh, job listing as well okay so now let's reset the search okay okay we are getting this error because we just made the reset link to request dot referrer okay and these are the things i'm showing you because you need to be consistent about these things because you need to maintain these kind of things when you get such kind of error so here you can see what we can do if params q type q selected okay so what uh, needs to be here so that uh, for example if this params is present or just the empty okay and uh, same thing here as well or empty now if you refresh the page go to the browser and if you refresh the page okay we are still seeing the error so we need to make certain if conditions here for example let's say uh, yeah if job location eq dot present else okay so remove this from here this or symbol and you can simply copy this do not select any params here okay save it and do the same thing for job type as well so just copy this okay and make it job type okay and then in the else part you need to make it without any selected value okay so first remove this and then copy this form field and paste it in the else part okay so paste it and remove this selected value 
okay now save this and go to the browser and refresh your page oh again sorry that was my bad you need to do this like you need to do it like this okay and same thing here as well okay now if you refresh the page you will see that everything is working fine okay so these are the things that you need to notice that how you can uh, keep the selected values in your insect form how you can create a rensec form with the multiple search fields okay and how you can uh, just check whether the params are present or not to reset the form okay using the request dot refer okay so these are the things that uh, if you can add in your search form that will enhance the search features and user uh, provide the more better user experience to the uh, let's say public users or the job seekers on your portal okay so here you can see now let's again search for the contact jobs go to the search and when you click on the reset search this will again reset the form and you can see the jobs again okay so this is how we can implement better search form in our application okay so i hope you like this and we will meet into the next lecture with another important topic that is now we will try to understand what is the difference between class and scope okay why because uh, here you can see that in the job model what we have we write this scope okay so this is a part of interview question but uh, when we try to learn new things and whenever you get new things in uh, whenever you work on new things in your project okay so you need to understand that what that thing is doing or what that concept is doing and what are if there are any similar concept what is the difference between them and what is the similarities between them okay so in the next lecture we will discuss about the difference between scopes and the class methods and similarities between the scopes and class methods okay and in upcoming lectures we will also try to understand that how they which one is better and in what situation which one is better i mean in what cases scopes are better and in what cases class methods are better okay so we will try to discuss all these things in the upcoming lectures okay so for this lecture let me create the commit that whatever we made so first let me copy this uh, token and then get status so there is only one file that where we made change that is the job index so hit add app commit okay and then edit multiple filters to job search form okay and then hit push origin feature display and then put the password here okay make sure whenever you make change whatever you make change always push your changes okay because you can keep track of your commits you can keep track of your works so that you can identify like what day what you did and what you did mistake in your code or what better you do and how you can review other code so the commits are the only thing that you can verify the things like what has been done by and what has been done by which developer okay so you just need to check that okay so if i go to the pr you can see that it is showing the refresh button when i click on the refresh okay so you can see that in the index to testimonial now i have search field with the multiple form a search form with the multiple fields in my range search for the jobs okay so that's all for this lecture we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care stay safe